Hi guys, here we are providing the solutions of questions from modern algebra in part C, where questions are multiple correct. The question number 84, of course part C unit 2 and booklet A. The question talks about abelian group which is finite of order n. If we have idea about abelian groups which are finite and their properties, the question itself reads out its option as an answer. Just look at here, the first option says, if d divides n, then there exists a subgroup of g of order d. We have a standard result, converse of Lagrange's theorem is true for finite abelian group. That means, for every divisor of the order of group where g is finite abelian group, there exists a subgroup. So, option 1 is correct. Now, option 2, if d divides n, then there exists an element of order d in g this is incorrect that there are it is not about element it is about subgroup we have number of examples see z4 cross z4 cross z4 you keep on doing so this is group of order 64 and there are divisors with of 64 like 8 32 but it doesn't have any element the possible order of any element in this group is 1 2 and 4 only that we know if x belong to this, x is of the form a, b, c and then order of a can be 1, 2, order of b can be 1, 2, order of c can be 1, 2 only and then order of x is equal to LCM of 1, LCM of n1, n2, n3 where n i equal to 1 or 2 which has 1, 2 and 4, 1 and 2 and 4 rather 1, 2 and 4. So, possible this can be either 1. 2 and 4 only. So, there are lots of number which divides this is g and order of g equal to 64. I have taken randomly. We can take talk about only that 4 cross z4 even this. This is good enough. Even Klein's 4 k4 group is good enough. 4 divides order of group but does not have any element of, of that order. So, option 2 is incorrect. If d divides n there is an element of order d in g. No, it is not possible. Lots of counter examples. Now, third every proper subgroup of g is cyclic if every proper subgroup of g is cyclic then g is cyclic again the same z2 cross z2 that is k4 it has three proper subgroups of order 2 each which is prime so every subgroup of k4 is cyclic proper subgroup of k4 is cyclic but k4 is not cyclic so option 3 is also incorrect. Now, option 4. Option 4 talks about one theorem and that result. If G is abelian of order n and n equal to p to the power n1, q to the power n2, r to the power n3, etc., then G is isomorphic to H1 cross H2 cross H3 and so on, where H i are P S S G, Q S S G, etc. Say silo subgroups. H1 is P silo subgroup, S2 is Q silo subgroup, S3 is Q silo R silo subgroups. That means G is actually I D P of h1, h2, h3, etc. And hence, we can always say g y h1 is isomorphic to h2, h3 and so on. Simple, every finite abelian group is isomorphic to its rather every finite abelian group is ED, IDP or EDP of its P silo subgroups. Here suppose, for example, I just take one example of order of g is suppose p into q and g is abelian, say n1, n2 being very, this abelian, it has subgroup of order p to power n1 and k of order q to the power n2, then g y h is isomorphic to k or g y k is isomorphic to h. 
in nutshell we can simply take this this as a result every finite abelian group is internal diet product of its silo subgroups hence the result existence of such h for which g or n for which g y n is isomorphic to h is correct so fourth is also correct so for this question question number 84 the option 1 and 4 are correct whereas 2 and 3 are incorrect 2 and 3 are eliminated with the help of counter examples thank you